हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डिस्कसिंग द इन वेरियंस ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस एंड इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अ प्रॉब्लम इन विच इट इज स्टेटेड दैट शो दैट द गिवन डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इज इन वेरियंट अंडर द गिवन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन और गिवन ली ग्रुप नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेक द इन वेरियंस ऑफ गिवन ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन देन यू हैव से दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन then students you have to uh, replace this equation with the one that i am writing it down x bar y bar plus 1 raised to power 3 is divided by x bar 5 plus 1 by x bar square that means you have to replace y and x by y bar and x bar and substitute all these values in one now students if you substitute the values that are given in equation number 2 in the equation that you got from applying a bar on each of x and y then students if i take its left hand side say dy bar and dx bar like um this is left hand side of our equation now students if you replace y bar with its value like y minus epsilon is divided by the differential of x bar and the value of x bar is x over 1 plus epsilon x now students you know that if you take the differential of the numerator then it will become equal to dy and that will be divided by now students if you take its differential then definitely um you will apply the quotient rule like denominator as it is and the differential of a numerator minus numerator as it is and the differential of denominator okay and that is divided by 1 plus epsilon x square now students if you uh, simplify it further then definitely you will get 1 plus epsilon x square and into dy is divided by uh, if you uh, plug out dx as common then you will get 1 plus epsilon x minus epsilon x times dx now both of them will cancel out with each other and you will get 1 plus epsilon x square into dy by dx say this is equation number 3 now students take its right hand side that is equal to right hand side is um this one x bar y bar plus 1 cube divided by x bar 5 Plus one by x bar square. Now, students, I have taken its right hand side, and we will substitute these transformations uh, here again. Like the value of x bar will become equal to uh, x over one plus epsilon x times the value of y bar that is equal to y minus epsilon and um, plus one. whole cube that is divided by the value of x bar that is x over 1 plus epsilon x raised to power 5 plus 1 over x bar square and that is equal to 1 plus epsilon x square now students if you simplify it like in a way x into y minus epsilon that is divided by 1 plus epsilon x Plus one raised to power three, and that is divided by x raised to power five is divided by one plus epsilon x raised to power five. Plus, uh, now students, if you uh, square them both, like x square over one plus epsilon x square. Now students, if you take here the LCM, then definitely you will get. x y minus epsilon plus 1 plus epsilon x uh here i have multiply x inside and take its lcm then definitely uh it will mul get multiplied with 1 and we will get this term and that will become divided by 1 plus epsilon x whole cube and all of the terms are divided by this one now students 1 plus epsilon x will be multiplied here so i will write 1 plus epsilon x raised to power 5 and that is divided by x raised to power 
and similarly here i can write 1 plus epsilon x square that is divided by x square now students further if i simplify it then i will get um x y minus epsilon plus 1 plus epsilon x cube that is divided by 1 plus epsilon x cube into 1 plus epsilon x raised to power 5 over x power 5 plus 1 plus epsilon x square is divided by x square now students here you can see that um, epsilon x and epsilon x will be cancelled out with each other and you are left with x y uh, plus 1 cube is divided by now students 3 of these terms cancel and we are left with um, x power 5 into 1 plus epsilon x square plus 1 plus epsilon x square is divided by x square now students say uh, this is equation number 3 now this is our equation number 4 now students if you write com by combining equation number 3 and 4 definitely equation number 3 we will get it by using the uh, left hand side of our equation and this is by using the right hand side so, so by combining we will get um 1 plus epsilon x square into dy by dx this is the left hand side that was equation number three and on the right hand side we will get xy plus one cube divided by x power five into one plus epsilon x square plus one plus epsilon x square is divided by x square now students if you take one plus x uh, epsilon x square as common then these terms will be cancelled out with each other on left and right hand side and you will get dy by dx is equals to xy plus 1 raised to power 3 over x raised to power 5 plus 1 over x square and this is your original equation that it was equation number 1 okay now students um, here we have seen that uh, I have applied the transformation on our original differential equation and then after by taking left hand side and right hand side because uh, procedure was quite long so i have taken it separately like left hand side give us equation number three and uh, by taking the right hand side we get this equation and by combining both of them i reach at the conclusion that uh, the given equation that i got after transformation equation is the similar as the equation number one so the given ordinary differential equation is invariant this is this is what invariance says like if you apply the transformation on your rde and if you get the original equation then the given differential equation would be invariant and this is your desired result so this is all about this lecture thank you so much